What's going on, you guys? It's be your boy Scatter by Nature TV, and we're here for a brand new episode of Yes for the Mess. Okay, it's been a minute since I did a Yes for the Mess, like consistently, but we're back. Okay, I can't say it enough. We are back. We are back. We are back. We are back. Okay, and we got a couple of things that we're going to discuss today on Yes for the Mess. We have two things, and it's all love and marriage, Chanspiel. But before we get into today's episode of Yes for the Mess, let's talk about what I got coming up this Wednesday. Now, this Wednesday. The prelude will be coming on for a special night, which is Wednesday night, which is normally the night that we do roast a review. But to, but Wednesday night would be all about Miss Kiki, okay? Kiki from Love and Marriage Huntsville will be appearing on the prelude on Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 p.m. Central Time, okay? That's what time she will be appearing. And I, she will be answering burning questions from me, you guys, maybe even other YouTubers that haven't had the chance to talk to Kiki, okay? Um, I'm coming up with the questions as I go because the interview was Wednesday night so I'm trying to get myself prepared get myself together um we've been talking about this interview since Miss Wanda's interview and I know she's been waiting on hers um she gave me this date on Friday night when she emailed me so um she's ready and she's been ready okay so be on the lookout for this interview with Kiki on Wednesday night at 8 p.m., 7 p.m. Central Time, as well as the after show. Now, Terrence doesn't have um, the thumbnail yet, but he will be having it later on today, and I will be promoting that as well. But um, the interview with Kiki is um, expected to only be an hour and 30 minutes. So meaning... Um, the show should be the the interview should be ending around like 9 30 eastern time and terrence is um slated to have the after show come on at 9 45 eastern time so that's exactly what he plans to do so there will be once again an interview between me and kiki from love and marriage huntsville another big interview for me and jamar on the prelude and make sure you guys tune in to watch that on wednesday and also on tuesday which is tomorrow um, me, Terrence, Sakina, Josiah, Really Be, and Ya, we will be back on the Whether You Like It or Not panel on Tuesday night at 9.15 Eastern Time. That's 9.15 Eastern Time. We will be here to talk about the Real Housewives of Atlanta as well as Basketball Wives, which comes out tonight on VH1, okay? So that's pretty much what we got going on right now. Um, be sure to tune in to all of that stuff, especially the interview with Kiki, because this is very highly anticipated. We've been waiting for it, and I want you guys to share, share, share. If you haven't um, clicked on the notification bell, um, well, if you haven't Set your reminders. The link is already out. The link is already out. Um, it's on my community wall and it's also already in the prelude playlist. So go ahead and set your reminders for it because it's going to be a doozy. Okay. Now, without any further ado, let's go ahead and let's get into the mess for today. Okay. So first of all, as you guys already know, there have been a plethora of um mug shots that's been coming now from Kiki, from Letitia, Marceau, all of that stuff. As of lately, there have been mug shots coming out. Um, and we don't know where they're coming from, but they have been exposed, they've been out there, and we're trying to figure out where it's coming from. Now, there have been a lot of um scandal about it, like people blaming Melody Hope for being the one for putting out the mug shots. Now, you guys already know I don't care for Melody Hope at all. Y'all know this, but I don't think that she will go that far to put out somebody's mug shots. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think she'll do that. I don't really think it's that serious. I don't think it's serious enough for her to really just go out there and put out somebody's mug shots because it's really not that serious. Like, why go out and do that? Like, what's your point of going out there putting out somebody's mug shots? That's my thing. Like, why we doing it? What's the fucking point? Like, why we doing it? So, um, Marceau has decided that he was going to go on out here and set the goddamn record straight when it come down to the situation. Now, I'm trying to figure out what's going on with my phone because apparently my shit ain't working right. So let me go to my, um, hold on, you guys. Wait a minute. Just give me a second. Let me get my laptop here. I'm, I'm going to read this shit from my laptop since my phone is acting up because that's where I normally keep my stuff at. But um, as I get my laptop and stuff prepared, for these um for this blog post because I'm gonna read it off my laptop. But yeah, um he decided that he's gonna come out and set the record straight about the situation because he don't know where all what any of this shit is coming from, obviously. So he wanna come out and set the damn record straight about it. And honestly, I don't blame him for coming out setting the record straight. He may as well set it straight. Um and Urban Bell Mag 
the fuck? Oh. And Urban Bill Mag um, has the article here. So I'm on my laptop right now. I'm getting to the article right now, you guys. So give me one second. That's what I'm doing right now. I pulled out my laptop. Okay, here is the article right here. Let me click on it real fast. Okay, there it goes. So let's get into the article. So the drama continues for Love and Marriage Huntsville stars Letitia Scott and Mar Marceau Scott. Love and Mary Chunsville is in the middle of an eventful season four. So far, Letitia Scott has been caught up in a couple of explosive feuds. Her friendship with Melody Holt fell apart during the first season after Martel Holt accused Marceau Scott of being unfaithful. She went to Melody for answers. Their conversation went left after Melody told Letitia to see what Marceau was up to when he went out, with, went out without her at night. Letitia clapped back by accusing Martel of buying his longtime mistress a matching BMW. So it's been rocky between them ever since. And Letitia has accused Melody of trying to destroy her marriage. On the current season of Love and Marriage Chansville, things have worsened between Melody. Hold on. Between Melody and Letitia. And one scene, Letitia. Damn. This advertisement. Okay. Um, Letitia asked Melody to provide proof of Marceau's cheating, and she called out Melody for having another child with Martel after he cheated. Melody took this to heart and said that her children should be off limits. Things have been, um, things have escalated since Miss Wanda went on social media to question the paternity of the youngest Holt child. As, and fans speculate that this may have resulted in Martel and Marceau coming to blows while filming the second half of the season. Interestingly enough, Letitia is also not in a good place with her cousin Kiki Jabbar. She feels like Kiki betrayed her by going to Melody's slumber party and discussing her, where things just got messier. And fans may have gotten emotionally invested in the family drama. Mug shots and arrest records went viral and Marceau took the social media to set the record straight. Okay, what's next? What's next up here? Letitia Scott and Marceau Scott are in the middle of some serious family drama. The, lo lo the Love and Mary Chunsville stars aren't on good terms with Letitia's cousin, Kiki Jabbar. Both took issue with Kiki showing up to Melody's slumber party while there, Letitia was discussed, and Melody asked Kiki if there were cheating rumors before Love and Marriage Huntsville ever existed. Kiki said that the rumors did exist before the show. Plus, she had certain conversations with Letitia related to all of this. While Letitia feels like her cousin betrayed her, and if Kiki cared about loyalty, she should have never shown up to the event since she knows that Melody and Letitia are not on good terms. On the latest episode, Kiki showed up at Miss Wanda's food tasting event for her food truck business idea. It didn't take long before a shouting match took place be between Kiki, Marceau, and Letitia. A Love and Mary Chunsville fan brought this up on Facebook and they wrote, I'm shocked. I just saw a post of a mug shot and a rest record of Marceau and Tisha. And I wonder why they're why they were telling Kiki's personal business to Martel and Mel. I wonder if Tisha and Marceau told Mel and Martel that they too had been arrested. When Marceau spotted the comment, he responded and he replied, News flash, they are black in America. One was for owning an unsafe building, the apartments we bought in 2010, and the other was for telling an officer that he was blocking an entrance to my brother's office in a spirited tone. Both dropped. Anything else? Kiki also chimed in and agreed with Marceau. She wrote, now I'm actually here with you here. I don't understand what any mug shots have to do with anything, but I'm good on addressing mine because I don't give a fuck either way. And that's on 100. Okay, so I do know that there were screenshots put out there. And I know there were I know that Empress Radio, shout out to her. She's um a friend of the Scotty by Nature TV brand. Okay. And um, you know, she put those screenshots out there. Now I'm gonna go and look right here on her page, on her YouTube page. Um, I got her stuff on mute, so nothing will come come about it but i think she was on live when it came down to this but i think that's pretty much it because she because you know i think urban bill mag pretty much covered the entire thing i think so it's really nothing else to be read so shout out to urban bill mag i mean urban bill mag of course and um emperor's radio you know i love we love Empress over here at scotty by nature tv um so that's pretty much the gist of that 
Um, honestly, I do think that the fans and people that watch the show are very um, emotionally invested. And I don't really, I'm not sure why they are. They're very invested in this show. And it's becoming, and I've been saying this for a long time, it's, it's becoming uh, not fun. Like, it's not fun to review anymore because everything is so serious. Like, everybody is so pressed to be on teams and shit. And for me, it's just too much. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how I feel. Like, for me, it's just too damn much. Like, people are doing too much in regards to this show. And I just feel like um, they need to stop. You know what I mean? Like, that's how I feel. They need to stop. It ain't that deep. Like, why y'all doing this? You know what I mean? Like, why y'all doing this? Why y'all acting like y'all know these people? You know what I'm saying? That's my whole thing. Like, they'll come. Like I said, I've talked about this on my own videos. Like, they'll come up in your DMs. You could post a picture of your mama, and then they'll come up under your videos. You talking about your mama, but what you say about male and all this other stuff. Like, they are very invested, and they are loony as fuck. Like, real shit. They are fucking loony. <laughs> they are loony, and I just don't understand. Why, girl? I don't understand. Why, girl? But anyway... Um, yeah, I don't know why the mug shots were put out there. I honestly don't know why. And I don't know what they prove here. Um, I think what people are doing is that they're trying to prove a point by, um, putting out these mug shots. Now, there's another YouTuber by the name of the Black Titanic that's been accused of being paid by Melody Holt and all of this other stuff, which I don't think that she's paying anybody. You know, a lot of the times when a when a blog is pro somebody or a YouTube channel is pro somebody or they like somebody, you know, you're automatically accused of being paid because shit. I was accused of being paid by Monique and I was dragging her ass. But because I wasn't dragging her the way that the Candace stands wanted me to, of course, I was accused of being paid. By her. I ain't never seen a check from Monique a day in my life. Like I said, if maybe if I got a check from Monique, maybe I can go on and get my air fixed. It ain't like I ain't got the money to get my air fixed, but bitch, I do need to get my air fixed. Shit, it's going to be like 100 degrees um down here, y'all. Like, I'm for real, for real. I know this ain't got nothing to do with what we talking about, but baby, I looked at this motherfucking forecast, and Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, it's going to be 100 damn degrees, and I ain't got no air. I need to go on and buy this. I've been procrastinating. That's the issue. I need to go on and buy this damn uh, what is it? This compressor, so I can get this air running up and running. Cause uh, uh-uh, uh, this this sound like this is gonna be a hot ass summer. And the fact that we're gonna be a hundred degrees Thursday, Friday, and said I gotta dry that hot ass furnace. No, ma'am. Okay, no, ma'am. Let me stop. Let me just stop before. Ooh, uh, I'm just getting. I'm just. I, I'm. I'm feeling like a sauna just talking about it. And I know. Um. And I know that this. I know that this is a mess. I know this ain't got nothing to do with what we're talking about. But the fact. I'm just saying the fact that it's gonna be 100 and something degrees and I ain't got no air. Let me go on. Let me go on since I'm off today and I gotta go get my oil changed and shit. Let me go up here to the um auto zone and see how much this um air compressor costs. Cause it ain't like I ain't got no damn money. I don't know why I'm sitting up here doing this. But anyway, um <laughs> but yeah, I don't I don't see the point of the mug shots being put out there. I don't. I don't know what it proves, but like I said, the people, some people are very invested in this damn show. So to the point to where they will go out there and do certain things like that. Like, I'm not going to pull out nobody's mug shots. Like, I'm not doing it. I ain't doing no shit like that. Like, it never gets that fucking serious to me. Like, I can't stand my load, but I'm not going out there putting up mug shots on my damn videos. I'm just not doing it. Like, it ain't, it ain't that serious. But the thing is... Kiki's mug shots had come out too. And see, I didn't get a chance to talk about that, but her mug shots had came out. So we don't even know why the hell her mug shots was out. And we don't know who the hell put hers out. So it's a lot going on with these mug shots. But isn't that public knowledge? So anybody could have went and looked it up and sent it to a blog. You know what I'm saying? So we really don't know. But Mar Marceau came out and spoke about it. And I guess that's just the end of everything, I guess. So we're about to move on to the next one, which is this situation with Martel and Mar and Marceau and this whole altercation that they had. Um, there's a possibility that they won't be showing the fight between Martel and Marceau on the show. And I think that's a fucking disservice to the rest of us that's been reporting about this. Like people like me, especially Jay Lee, because she had a whole compilation of every goddamn live. Okay. Every single one of them. I think it's very unfair that you guys want to sit up here and make it seem like y'all not going to show this fight. Y'all better show this goddamn fight. Like for real, y'all need to show it. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is. We want to see it. Let's stop. We want to see the fight. But okay, this is another article from Urban Bell Mag. Okay, it's another article. So we're about to go ahead and get into that article right now. And then we're going to discuss this. Okay, so. Love and Marriage Huntsville stars Martel Holt and Marcel Scott have been a hot topic on social media since the rumored altercation that took place during filming. Melody Holt was in the middle of an Instagram live session. She seemingly insinuated that someone tried to attack her from the back and she and Martel weren't going to stand for anyone talking about their children. Days prior, Miss Wonder was also on social media and she said that Melody needed to get a DNA test done on her youngest child. Apparently, Miss Wonder wanted her followers to know that she isn't convinced that Martel is the child's biological father. Well, to no surprise, the comments did not sit well with Melody and Martel. And although they had a nasty divorce, it seems as if they had gotten back in a good place before that dramatic day. In fact, Martel opened up about this in an interview and he said that he and Melody have been actually getting along as of late. So co-parenting has been going pretty smoothly. They have been they have even been filming together. Earlier in the season, Melody confirmed that she didn't film any scenes with Martel and that was by choice. However, she and Martel had been reportedly filming together for the second half of season four. Before Melody could finish explaining the entire situation on Instagram Live, she exited her vehicle to chase down Martel and she pleaded with him not to fight because their children were there to see it. The video ended and fans have suspected that Martel and Marceau got into an altercation and the Love and Mayor Chansville cameras were there. Interestingly enough, whatever did happen that day would eventually air on the show. However, comments made by one of Marceau and Mars Reese's brothers now have people thinking that the rumored altercation actually won't be shown on the show. Martel and Marceau, hold on, friendship has been tested on Love and Mary Chunsville. In fact, Martel took issue with Marceau joking about his longtime affair. He said that the situation was not a funny one for him and, Mar and, and Melody Holt, and it caused a lot of issues in their marriage. So he couldn't understand why a friend would joke about this on TV. Martel clapped back by accusing Marceau of cheating on Letitia Scott, and he accused Marceau of cheating with 20 different women. This was the beginning of Mar. So, dealing with cheating rumors on Love and Marriage Huntsville. Despite this, Martel did end up apologizing to Letitia and Marceau about the accusations. However, he doesn't appear to be on good terms with either these days. Letitia feels that Marceau tried, feels Martel did. Martel tried to destroy their marriage with their accusations. So since she hasn't been open to doing business with him. As for Marceau, it's rumored that he and Martel may have gotten into an altercation while filming the second half of season four. And it's suspected that they fell out because Miss Wanda was questioning Melody and Martel's youngest child's paternity. Interestingly enough, fans figured that if an altercation did indeed take place, it would be shown on Love and Marriage Huntsville. Cast members have even refrained from confirming that the two did come to blow. They have only said that fans need to tune in to see everything unfold. And the most that Martel would say is that, Mar that is that Wanda was fired from the show. However, Marceau clapped back by saying that she wasn't. She would film scenes with him and Letitia. Well, now some fans are thinking that the altercation might not even be shown on the show. And this is due to comments made by Marceau and Maurice's brother, Makai. I think that's how you pronounce his name, Scott. He told followers that he would address the drama on Instagram Live but before he could. He was talking on the phone and he said, it's drama. That's what the people are looking for. He continued, that's some bullshit. That's some bullshit. That's some bullshit. 100% bullshit. You know what I'm saying? If that's the only part I got to leave out and that's the only part I want to say, but it ain't like it ain't like it's going to be filmed. No way. So that was pretty much the gist of it. Now, I don't know if he's referring to his phone conversation not being filmed or not. But if the if the fight was fucking filmed, we want to see it. Like, who the hell? Like, what the hell y'all think this is? Like, we want to see the goddamn fight. Like, we, especially the YouTube bloggers, like myself and everybody else in my circle, like, we want to see this shit unfold. Like, we want to see everything. And I And I don't like it when we watch reality TV shows and they don't. They film shit and they don't show everything. It's the same way it was when Jackie and Brooke got into that fight on Basketball Wives and they completely cut the fight out and they never and we never seen it. And all we had the chance to do was sit up and speculate 
on whether or not Jackie got her ass beat by Brooke Bailey. And to this day, we still don't know whether or not he she got her ass beat. And I need to know if she got her ass beat. I want to see the fight. And I know that people don't people look at Love and Marriage Huntsville and they don't want that type of stuff on the show. And they feel like, you know, this show was um put out there to look at black married couples in a different type of way and, you know, for it to be like a positive type of show. And I t- listen, I understand all that. Trust me. But I look at this like this is reality TV and you guys already know that we want to see everything like everybody. We want to know why they fought. We want to know. We want to see the fight. We want to see the aftershock of the fight. Like we want to see every damn thing because everything been in the blogs. We all been talking about it and we want to see it all like that's just the fact of the matter. We want to see it all. And it's like crazy. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> it's crazy. I want to see everything. And knowing Carlos King being the producer, he's going to show it. He may as well. He He's going to show it. So I don't know. Um, but it is what it is. Um, I hate that they're fighting. You know, I do hate that. But I will say that if it happened, it happened. And we want to see it. That's it. We want to see it. So it is what it is. So um, that's pretty much all I really got on this particular topic. I want to know what you guys got to say about this about this particular topic. Um, how do you feel about Marceau, Um, pretty much coming out here, speaking on the whole situation with the mug shots? How do you guys feel about um, Marceau and Martel's alleged physical altercation possibly not being shown on the show. We want to see it on the show. Period. We want to see it. I don't give a fuck. He want to see. <laughs> he want to see. We want to see what's, what they doing on the show. Like, we want to see it all. Like, real shit. That's what we want to see. Okay. So, with that being said, y'all, this was pretty much the first yes for the mess of the day because you got some more coming today. Um, Before we go, I just want to remind you all once again that there will be an interview with me and Kiki on Wednesday night at 8 p.m., 7 p.m. Central Time. Make sure y'all are there to see it. And not only will there be um, an interview with me and Kiki, but there will be an after show on Giving You The Real Tea's channel hosted by Giving You The Real Tea, a.k.a. Terrence and my and our good, good friend, Josiah's World TV. Be sure to tune in. It's going to be an action-packed night for the three of us, okay? An action-packed night. So be sure to tune in, okay? So with that being said, you guys, this be your boy, Scotty. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, share this video. Also, share this video. Um, make, make sure you click on that notification bell so you can be notified whenever a video drops. And also, if you want to follow me on any form of social media, please feel free to do so. My Twitter, my IG, and my TikTok, they all will be down at the bottom of the video in the description box, okay? With that being said, you guys, your boy Scotty is up out of here. Until my next video, I will talk to you guys later. Peace out.